We're gonna just move that like this today. Gonna get you pretty far away. Get a nice comfortable spot here. My um, my phone's charging so I can't use my regular like phone holder thingy at that and it just I have terrible lighting right now so I want to sit like right in front of my window <laughs> so I get good lighting. Um, <clears throat> It's Toho, like always. <laughs> um, and today we're going to talk about programming. Um, for those of you who are not familiar, uh, or those of you new to our channel, I guess, we're... We're a DID system and we usually try to educate people on terminology regarding DID, uh, CPT, C, C, <laughs> I forgot how to spell it, C, P, T, S, D, there you go. You gotta say it real fast or otherwise you're just gonna get caught up halfway through and you're just gonna ruin your life from there on and uh you know other other things involving like abuse and trauma and all that sort of fun stuff well <clears throat> programming is when well it's it's kind of an umbrella term or at least i consider it an umbrella term it's when an abuser or a perpetrator of abuse is uh deliberately triggering um, switches, but not just that. It's, um, it could be switches, it could be, um, certain kinds of responses dependent on the altar. It could be straight up creating a whole altar. Um, it can be creating, um, a sort of like underground system not like a system as in like a system of altars but like a system as in like a working like a, a railroad track sort of system um inside your brain to make you sort of automatically do things um <clears throat> basically creating and um reinforcing an automatic response to certain triggers. So whenever you're triggered, like when we're triggered by say a nameless brand of soda, um, it will trigger a very bad memory and we'll have like a panic attack and whatnot like that. But conversely, if our programming is triggered Take that bad memory, amplify it by like a good 150,000 times, and that's what it's like. <laughs> um, it sucks really bad. I've, I've experienced that sort of thing before. It's like your whole brain is caught on fire and there's rakes, like, like claws inside your skull clawing into your brain and peeling it backwards telling you not to do something or telling you that you have to do something terrible like that and the that program programming that i am referencing is for our system is called the rules the rules are weird because nobody actually knows what the rules are and you can't break them. So, like, we can't break these rules, but we don't even know what they are. But, but we know that when you do break the rules, it's a very unpleasant experience. Usually you just want to kill yourself right away. Uh, in, in between the agonizing brain pain going on during that. Um, but that... That's for us. Other other systems and other people who have um, been programmed 
or or have had that sort of trigger response sort of thing going on in their brain um will oh sorry <laughs> will um sometimes they will be programmed to go back to an abuser in in a certain triggering situation say like if an alter is programmed they may be programmed to go back to that abuser or maybe they're programmed to harm themselves in effort to kill you know the person the the body and you know everybody else inside of it or they're they're programmed to have certain responses to things for instance i am pretty sure that um the feralness of Ez, which I very, very, I think Kristen, we very briefly mentioned it. Well, we talked about it. We had a whole video about it, but it was very, I'd say poorly done because we've learned a little bit more, or at least we've speculated a little bit more, but we're pretty sure that the feralness that Ez has when he's triggered is a part of a kind of programming so for instance instead of dissociating like you know we normally do where you just kind of like freeze and your whole body just turns into a big log and you're like mm, and doing nothing instead his form of dissociation is much more violent <laughs> in in an effort to protect himself so in in the in the context of the memories of which we're we, we're aware of that's what we believe that this um this form of feralness uh, it, it stems from a type of dissociation that and not really a type of but just a a, a different kind of response of, of dissociative response to the kind of trauma that and abuse that the that he's endured or the body in general has endured and that response was taken advantage of and turned into a type of programming so <clears throat> in essence programming for a system who has been ritually abused or something along those lines is the abuser or the perpetrator taking advantage of the natural working of workings of how um, dissociation works and how compartmentalization works and using that against the system itself in order to harm it in order to protect the abuser in order to keep the secret anything anything could be used as um as programming or any reason really that they deem is reasonable could be used for programming a system or an altar to perform certain tasks for that abuser so <laughs> um <clears throat> To get rid of programming, I can't say that you can just get rid of it because it is, it is very hard. I know that it's very hard because we've dealt with it and I've dealt with it and I've dealt with the repercussions of trying to break the rules and that is not a fun experience, I can tell you that. So I know for a fact that it is not an easy task. It's a not, not an easy undertaking. And my best advice is if you believe in any form or fashion that you or another altar or maybe even the whole system has some kind of programming, I would definitely talk to your therapist, your psychotherapist, your, your, um, uh, DID specialist, whoever you talk to, um, about it. And I would list off, you know, as, as, 
as best as you can the kinds of, of triggers that trigger that kind of programming. Like for, for us, we know what triggers as is response. We know what triggers Mockingbird's response. And we know what triggers Destiny's response. And we consider those to be of some form of programming because it's like, they're very specific triggers that do not occur naturally. <laughs> you know, I mean, you can't walk by a specific brand of, of soda and just be like, <gasps> no, like that, that's normal for us. But when, when something very specific happens and a specific altar fronts from that and they have a specific task that they want to carry out, you can basically guess from there that something is not quite quite right. Somebody probably wanted this kind of response every time that they asked this person out or they would create the trigger to make them front for them to do whatever for them. And uh, yeah, I mean, your your best bet is a like with any kind of DID, OSDD, trauma therapy is going to be long and grueling and hard, but you'll get through it and um, you'll heal and that's okay. This was not a very happy topic and I'm sorry. <laughs> I just, I felt like I, I was trying to go, go, go over topics that I could talk about tonight because I really wanted to talk about something. I wanted to make a new video for DID, but I could not think of a topic. I have like a list. I keep a list. I keep a list of topics that I've already gone over and then a list of topics that I want to go over next <laughs> at some point in time. And then probably eventually we'll do like some redone topics. We'll probably take down, uh, well, I can come in another video, but anyways, we'll probably take down some older videos and then redo them because we have better audio quality and, and slightly better video quality. I don't know what the hell's going on with the, the camera right now. I'm literally on my phone. I don't know why it's like got terrible video quality, but you know, it just probably the lighting. It's probably the lighting. <laughs> um, so anyways, that's about it. Bye guys.